bed lying simulator? Now this is a video game. Oh god. Oh, what's happening? Why am I expanding? I don't want to play this anymore. I've always been interested in simulation games, life sims like Animal Crossing, Harvest Moon, or Stardew Valley, city building sims like City Skylines, or building roller coasters in Roller Coaster Tycoon. But what about not simulation games, but simulator games? Games that simulate things that you could do in real life, oftentimes things that you wouldn't even want to do? PC Building Simulator, Placid Plastic Duck Simulator, Mother Simulator, Goat Simulator, Surgeon Simulator, Bum Simulator, Bread Simulator, Cockroach Simulator, Hiking Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> While you were out there getting mauled by a bear, I got a girlfriend to lie in bed with me. <laughs> These simulator games have gone too far! And I'm here to play them so that you don't have to. And hey, maybe some of them will actually be fun! This is the worst video idea I've ever had, isn't it? Let's go! It's no huge surprise that my biggest fear is aliens. Or I should say my second biggest fear, right under being called Shaggy even one more time. I think if someone calls me Shaggy again, I might spontaneously combust. <laughs> aliens! <laughs> I don't want to be a YouTuber anymore. I want to be an alien hunter. What the heck, bro? No, not that kind of alien hunter. This kind! Signal simulator! <laughs> Bunch of signals out there from outer space, I guess, and we've got to find them. And how do you do that, you ask? <laughs> Amateur. It's easy. It's easy. Open up the computer. Go to the scanner program on the computer. Do the scan on the computer. You found an anomaly. Good job. Move all the thing over to find the glowy thing on the computer. Analyze the thing on the computer. <laughs> Find the polarization of the electromagnetic waves on the computer. You go left to right. <laughs> you got the signal. Whoa, baby. Good job. Get off the computer. Find the right number of the frequency. Gotta take a drink. <laughs> mm, now that's some good alien juice right there. Find the coordinates for the signal. Wait for the signal and the coordinate signal to go down all the way to get a good average of the coordinates. Make sure you go to the wall and you turn on the thing so it can go faster. Set the coordinates on the thing and then you wait and you spin around the thing the thing so you can go to get the signal and this is when the towers will then spin around real fast and, well actually real slow and so you can get the right to get the thing and then get a green bar you need to get a green bar on the azimuth and then the other elevation oh no the tower is not working because it's broken <laughs> Fix it in the thing when you get the thing, but you actually you can't because it's thing isn't all the way around, so you can't get on the thing. So you gotta do the thing so you can get it to go there and to get on the thing and go up into the thing. Put on the thing so you can get the thing the right number of the thing so you can make sure you press the button because if you burn you don't press that button, it's not gonna work, you idiot. Go all the way back. <laughs> Oh god, it's not a- you got a low number right here, that's not a good number, so you need that number to go a little bit higher. <laughs> Press the button so you can clean the things. Wow, that's a clean looking thing if I ever seen a thing. And I've seen a thing or two in my day, I tell you what. <laughs> Whoa, you have the signal? That's a great news. You better download that signal that you got there. Make sure you go to the water, turn the switch on the air, and download the flip signal faster. Wait a long time for the signal to get the download. Oh, whoa, well, it's a downloaded signal, and you did it. You done did it, you got the signal. It's downloaded. What's it gonna be? It's nothing. Wait, you told me I did all that for nothing? I just got a bunch of no nothing signal. This is a bunch of shit. Good job. It may have taken a bit of practice, but I'm now pretty much the signal simulator in king. I found signal after signal after signal. More signals than the average person could even count. Like... 30. The only problem is that none of them were from aliens. I found so many signals and every single one of them is just random BS. Every now and then I find a signal that sounds really spooky. Surely this is going to be something. It isn't. Once the data is decoded, it's just another one with a bunch of random letters and numbers. That is until hours and hours into the game. Uh... Oh my god. 
every now and then you do get some slightly scarier sounding signals that end up decoding into actual sentences. Tell my family. I love them. I was listening them, but I didn't know they will come for me. Better dead than the feeling when they experiment on you. I'm scared. Pretty spooky, I can't lie. But no actual UFOs and definitely no actual aliens. Despite my earlier cockiness, it actually did take a really long time to figure out how to find and download signals. I'm talking like at least an hour or so jumping back and forth between YouTube tutorials. Even now that I have it down completely and can just go through the motions, I still don't really know what's actually going on. Look, all the science, I don't understand. It's just my job five days a week. I press the buttons and the big thing Things go brrrr. Once you finally get the hang of it, it's actually pretty relaxing to play, especially while watching something on a different monitor. Don't have a second monitor though? No problem! You can watch your movies right on your in-game monitor! I, for example, watched the entirety of Close Encounters of the Third Kind while signal simulatoring, and I still didn't find anything. Seriously, what the heck even is this game? I'm spending so much time playing this and I'm getting like nothing back as a reward. I wanna see some action! I wanna see some aliens! I'm getting kind of sick! Look at this garbage. What the f was that? Oh my f god. You never know when the aliens are gonna take over the planet and murder all of us in our sleep. So until then, we might as well live it up. And I'm gonna live it up by shopping on my new favorite website, who also just so happens to be the sponsor of this video, Timu! <laughs> Timu is an online marketplace that has the most competitively priced products on the entire internet. And they even have tons of different categories. Things like electronics, office and school supplies, and my personal favorite, toys and games. I've already used Timu after doing a sponsor on my Peeves channel, and I can say with first-hand experience just how low the prices are. And on top of that, they're even running an Easter sale for, uh, how much is the discount? 90% off? Do they know? Oh my god, cute plushes! I love the cow! He looks like Harvest Moon. Oh my god, I have to have buff sharks. <laughs> Timu also offers free shipping and, if needed, free returns for up to 90 days. Need to get a gift for someone? Timu! Squishmallow. Oh, my wife would like the pink one. This could be her. I mean, she's older, than, but Totoro, my wife loves Totoro. Yeah, screw it, my wife needs this. Timu really is a lot of fun, and you never know what you're gonna find on there. One of the things I got was this Spy Family anime building set and I've been having a lot of fun putting it together in my spare time. And if you want to try Timu, make sure you use my code SALE7894 and you can get an additional 30% off. And I even have a special discount for my viewers only on a Nintendo Switch OLED. If you went on some other site, it costs about $350. But if you go on Timu, it costs only $300. But if you use my special link in the description, you can get it for only $264. And because they're extra crazy at Timu, you'll get an additional 30% off if you're a first-time user. That's $239 for a total of $110 savings for my viewers only. Don't say I never did nothing for you. Thanks for considering Timu, and thank you to Timu for sponsoring me. I've played this game for about 20 hours at this point. I've seen pages and pages of random signals that do nothing. I've seen a few of these story signals with text and one signal referred to as an event signal where something came down from the sky. But that wasn't even alien. It was from a human spacecraft. And then all of a sudden, completely out of nowhere, it throws this thing at me. An alien head staring at me from outside the window is literally my biggest fear. I'm telling you, if you're my friend and you pull a prank like that on me, I will no longer talk to you ever again. I'm just throwing that out there. But honestly, other than that and a couple other jump scare Easter eggs, there hasn't been that much to be afraid of. This game is basically 1% horror, 99% tedium. Uh, I think after this next signal, I'm gonna switch to a different game. Uh, this is not a normal. I gotta step outside and check this thing out. I'm sure it's just nothing again. Uh. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Ah! 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 No! Please! Don't take me! Ah! Ah! I just decided I don't like this game. I think I prefer the 99% tedium. So recently I've been thinking about becoming a mother. What's that? That vibration? Hey. The vibration's getting worse. I think
think he's dead, honey. Uh, on second thought, maybe not. Too late! Three, two, one, motherhood activated! Ugh, I hate it! I'm having a visceral reaction to holding this baby right now. Ugh, I don't want this! I don't want it! Here, take this and shut up! Nope. Come on, just take it! No, I don't think this baby likes me very much. Well, the feeling's mutual. <laughs> Mother Simulator isn't exactly a simulator game, or at least what I consider to be a simulator game. You jump from level to level, trying to complete tasks like feeding your baby his bottle. I hate my life. Or giving him a bath, with random other challenges thrown in like having to go to the bathroom every 20 seconds. And sometimes other things like the Ice Age. You know, the Ice Age. Every mother should be able to look after her baby in any conditions, even during the Ice Age. You know, I was actually thinking just the same thing. Have you ever wanted to throw around a baby piss diapers? Me neither. But after following these simple steps, it's actually easy. Kobe! <laughs> In fact, I'm number 212 in the entire world at baby piss diaper throwing. My mummy would be proud of me. By far, the most annoying thing you have to do is prepare the formula in your baby's bottle. It seems simple enough. You fill it with water, put the formula in, pop on the top, bam! Your disgusting baby is fed, but simply putting down the bottle once it's filled with water is practically impossible. No matter how long I played, and I beat the entire game by the way, I could not find the proper angle to drop it without spilling. It's like one of those pathetic people on infomercials that can't complete the simplest task without falling all over themselves. Oh God! <laughs> baby needs Binky! <laughs> baby needs Ducky Toy! <laughs> Oh god, earthquake! Ah! Baby needs couch! <laughs> Baby stuck in the window! And it may or may not have been me that put him there. Baby broke his spine! <laughs> and it definitely was me that did that. And I'd do it again. <laughs> oh, oh god. <laughs> I'm really starting to think I could find a better life than this one. I'll just leave him right here. Why is it always aliens? Seriously, every time. You know what? I don't even want him. Just freaking take him. You can take his poopy diaper ass. <laughs> I have to go now. My planet needs me. <laughs> I need a simulated life that's a little bit more relaxing. Let's try that plastic duck thing. Placid plastic duck simulator. What is this? I don't know, but I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, what is this? It's a duck. Holy crap. Now this is the life. Whoa, that's a lot of ducks. Get used to it, it's your life now. And why wouldn't you want it to be? There's bumblebee duck, unicorn duck, super cool duck. Cool. Cute anime eyes duck. Ay -ay -ay. Ay -ay -ay. Very slightly injured duck. This is a very detailed duck. <laughs> oh, he changed, what the frick? Oh, excuse me. There's big head duck. He has a hard time staying upright. I'm looking forward to killing myself. There's a... Uh, wait, hold on. I can't see anything. <laughs> Ayo. Hey, if you didn't like that, duck you. There's dragon duck. <laughs> There's this glowing duck that I can barely even look at without hurting my eyes. And yellow submarine duck who has a propeller. Uh, I think he's escaping. Come back. Come back, please. I need every duck. He got away. For now. Hey, uh, looks like we have another escapee. There goes my hey, I guess I can't blame him. If I was in a pool with PP -P Duck over here, I'd want out as fast as possible, too. All the homies bully the P Duck. Send him to the sucky tube! <laughs> None of those ducks were actually him. Uh, did I mention you can't actually control anything in this game? But I'm pretty sure the message is clear. You suck, P-Duck. <laughs> I was led both by the title of the game as well as the description on the Steam page that this was a plastic duck simulator. Like, actually simulating the life of a plastic duck. But while there obviously are a lot of plastic ducks floating around, I'm equally as obviously not one of said plastic ducks. So what exactly is this even a simulator of? 
A sitting on your butt on a beach chair in the middle of the ocean and or on a snow-peaked mountain lodge watching dogs fall into a pool for all eternity? Simulator? And you have no legs? I guess we're simulating the life of a guy who collects plastic ducks? Whoever this guy is, I know only two things about him. One, he must be insanely rich. I mean, he owns both a beach and a ski resort, so that's gotta cost a lot of money. And two, he has no life. Absolutely no life whatsoever. This man does nothing. This guy doesn't do anything. He literally just lays around and waits for new ducks to land in his pool all day and all night. I mean, I dig the vibes and everything, but what exactly are we supposed to be doing? If I could snap my finger and instantly create any simulator game I want, I'm not 100% sure what it would be, but I am 100% sure that you'd be able to move. And would you look at this, another alien. That's three games, three aliens. I swear I did not do this on purpose. Hopefully the next game is alien free. After being in the pool with PP Duck for so long, I'm starting to feel a little bit dirty. What do you say we wash up a bit? Power Wash Simulator! Epic washing in action! That you ever wanted to clean? Well, now you can! This game is just like a first person shooter, except instead of shooting guys in the face, you are drawing a boobies on the side of a building. Clean dinosaur slide! Hell yeah! I hope you liked all that because that's all this game is! Yes, as the title suggests, all you do is clean, or more specifically, power wash. You power wash a van, you power wash a house, you power wash a haunted house, you power wash a giant Ferris wheel, you power wash a giant hand pointing at something, probably telling you to move away from the giant ominous smoking volcano that's constantly in the background, you power wash a mansion from Tomb Raider, I uh, never did that one so I don't have any footage of it, you power wash a giant ancient statue that shoots a huge laser out of its eyes for some reason. You even power wash a UFO. Are you freaking serious right now? This is just getting ridiculous. At this point, I'm gonna have to do an alien games have gone too far video. If you wanna complete this game, you'll be power washing for an absurd amount of time. Upwards of 50 freaking hours. There may be a completely ridiculous amount of power washing to do, but at least it is relaxing. That is all the way up until you're 99% finished power washing. Then it morphs into a frustration simulator where you try to find the last sliver of dirt when into the corner or the little sh left under the freaking windowsill. What the heck have I not cleaned yet? There's a button to make the remaining dirt glow and I still can never find the last bits. This game is supposed to be chill and satisfying and I mean it is? But it's also driving me crazy. I don't know how much more of this I can take. This freaking sound effect is being burned into my brain. I'm starting to see things. Gnomes, freaking gnomes. Everywhere! They're watching my every move! God dang gnomes! <laughs> I'm seeing them in my sleep! There's even gnomes on Mars! The gnomes have their own fountain, which they forced me to clean for them! I hate gnomes! Death to all gnomes! <laughs> I'm handling this very well. And I can't lie, I'm getting pretty sick of pointlessly cleaning these people's poopy looking houses when they're all obviously gonna be dead in a week from volcano explosion. So I don't think I'm gonna be clocking into power wash work tomorrow. We've covered some pretty difficult and demanding simulator games so far, but nothing, and I mean nothing, comes close to the next game we have. My summer car. Do you know how to build a car? Uh, pretty sure that's not supposed to be happening. Oh, God! Uh, <laughs> fuck. Me either. Let's play a game where you do that. Yes, a simulator game where you build an entire car from scratch, part by part, piece by piece, including the wiring, the engine, the chassis, or whatever the chassis is, the seats, the tires, the dashboard, literally everything. And if you do even the slightest thing incorrectly, it can all go... 
terribly wrong. But it's not just a car building simulator, otherwise I wouldn't be interested in it. It's much, much more than that. Okay, everybody, hop on in to my summer car, where I've just been born. Ew. Fast forward about 19 years to the current year, aka 1995, and the game starts. Uh... Now what? What am I supposed to do? Is this my summer car? It sure doesn't look so good. I spent my first day drinking an entire case of beer that I found and drunkenly waddling around pissing myself. Yes, there is a urine meter in this game if you haven't noticed yet. Oh! As well as shooting some hoops. Oh, baby, a triple. Oh, yeah! After failing to successfully do anything at all, I started wandering around aimlessly, almost dying of thirst, until I unfortunately found a water pump allowing me to continue my absolutely miserable existence. Then I found this guy. Oh, hi there. I peed on him a little. Don't worry, he's chill with it. <laughs> and then I ran to the train track to sit there and wait for my inevitable demise. This game's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> There's at least a 7 to 10 so far. <laughs> This is a pretty happy death screen. Is it too late to switch to a different game? Or like maybe even just a, a different video altogether? Can we just like give up on this one? Life number two! My summer car might not be looking so hot right now, but on the positive side, I did learn how to drive this tractor. On the negative side though, it is insanely slow. And also I'm dying of hunger, stress, and urine. <laughs> Life number three! After failing to get this stupid moped to work, I drove around in the tractor some more for a very long time, and I still don't know what I'm supposed to do. I did learn something really important though. You can shift the gear from low to high. I don't know if you knew anything like about how to do like cars or whatever, but you could do that in the game and in real life. Now we're really gonna be zooming, baby. Let's go! Unfortunately, I ran out of gas and was forced to beg for a ride from NPCs. And I can't even think of one good reason why they won't let me in. <laughs> Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Life number four. I found the bar. Time to make some bad decisions, baby. Drinking, smoking, trying to figure out how this finished poker machine works, and hanging with the boys. That was a fun for. Where'd they go? <laughs> Where'd they go? Hello? Oh. Oh. Huh. And why is there a dead body? I don't think I've ever seen a game with so many random dead bodies all over the place. I even witnessed a murder in broad daylight. They just killed that guy. They killed him. Stay with me, brother, please. <laughs> oh god, why? Oh well. What? These soccer kids are starting to creep me out. How do they live? So I'm gonna get out of here. We're almost back home. Just gotta head on past this. You are never safe in my summer car. Death is always one step behind you. Whether it's from hunger or thirst, being too stressed, pissing off the local crazy guy, pissing on a TV, poking around the fuse box, hit by a deer, I actually lived that time. Murdered by this guy? Ah! Or smoking while getting gas? Ah! Or what usually happens? Violent vehicular death. Ah! Dude, this thing is zooming. Ah! Oh. If you're not vigilant, you'll find yourself becoming one of those dead bodies on the side of the road. But luckily, I've pretty much mastered the game at this point. 
Oh, God. Okay, now I've mastered the game. I mean, I'm showering, peeing, and smoking at the same time. This is peak multitasking. Oh. oh, God. Oh, God. Hold on. Oh. Oh, hold on. Hello? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Okay, all, right, all right, can do. So yeah, I've clearly already mastered the basics of my summer car, but what exactly is it that you do past those basics? Like, what do you do at all in the game? I, I actually not even sure yet. Do you know? I've played this game for like 100 hours and 95% of it has just been... And occasionally... And every now and then you get into an accident. And then you have to spend 30 minutes trying to flip the... Gosh dang! Try it with a gas physics! Ah! Most of the time the game is so tedious that I just end up watching YouTube videos on my other monitor while driving. Which ends up causing even more accidents. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Uh nobody saw that, right? Oh my god! Oh my. <laughs> you wanna know what I think? You wanna know what I think? Yeah, that's right. Go to pussy, please. All right, all right. Ping on them was my only plan, and it didn't seem to have any effect, so I guess I'll turn myself in. <laughs> what? I'm in prison. No! No, please! I'm sorry! What the heck? How long do I have to be in here for? The answer to that question is... 12 hours! And no, not 12 in-game hours, 12 real-life hours! I had to freaking sit in prison in this video game I paid actual money for for 12 freaking hours! And no, you cannot just leave the game running because you have to babysit your character or he'll die of thirst. And no, you can't escape. And no, you cannot fast forward the time. You just sit there for 12, 12 freaking hours. But after a long, grueling jail sentence of doing nothing but eating whatever the hell this refried beans looking slop is, drinking milk, smoking cigarettes, and listening to the same radio station over and over. Let me out! Let me out! Oh, uh, and peeing. Of course, you, you can't forget about that. I finally served my time and was dropped off outside the gas station where I can continue playing my video game. But since I have no vehicle parked outside of the gas station anywhere, I had to run all the way back to my house, which took like another hour, by the way. And I got there just in time to drink water before I died of thirst, only to realize I hadn't paid the water bill because I was in jail for so long. So I had to run as fast as I could back to the mailbox to pay it and run all the way back to the sink just to realize that there was no power in the kitchen. Why does this game have a breaker box? And why can the breakers break? But no problem, I thought ahead. I bought some extra breakers, so I just need to change them real quick so I can... I died of thirst. Hello? Yeah, sorry, I can't. I'm dead! All right, I've had enough of this final life, and we're gonna get everything right this time. And to get everything we need, not only to build my summer car, I kind of forgot that's technically what this game is about, but to simply survive long enough to do that, we need to make money. We need some fat stacks. There's a handful of different jobs that I've discovered so far. You can deliver groceries or fish to grandma, but not only do you have to go out of your way to get whatever it is she wants, you also have to sit there and listen to her talk for an insanely long amount of time. And big surprise, crazy grandma who can't even drink from her cup correctly. Doesn't have a lot of money. That's it? <laughs> oh, God dang it. But at least it's better than the freaking strawberry picking job where you spend like 10 real life minutes putting strawberry after strawberry into a box for a whopping 40 bucks. I swear if prison didn't exist in this game. <laughs> One of the first jobs you get over the phone is this old guy who asks you to drop off all his hay bales to his farm next to town. And where does he keep his hay bales? Where does he not keep them? Is a better question. They're freaking everywhere, all over the entire map. Most of them being, of course, at the furthest possible points from where he lives. What the hell? No, 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 no
no, 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 no! But there are at least some good jobs you can get. I made a bunch of buckets of alcohol in the shower. Yes, the same shower that I constantly pee in. Don't worry though, I only have one customer and I'm pretty sure he's too drunk to care even if I did tell him. <laughs> you can chop up and deliver wood, which actually pays really well for the amount of time spent, especially once you master the wood carrier toss technique. Yeah! Holy oh my God! And then there's a job where you drive a septic truck. Yes, this is a video game where you drive around and suck up people's <laughs> with the wobbliest hose ever made. <laughs> and now that we have some money, our fridge is stocked with those little Totino's looking frozen pizzas and the freshest, finest sausages you can buy in all of Finland uh, that is specifically sold at Timo's gas station emporium. And we're finally prepared to build my summer car. I will do a lot of different things for a video. Learn to juggle, jump into a practically frozen lake, nude scenes, anything for the art. But one thing I will not do is learn how to build a car from scratch. I'm sorry, I, I, you've lost me on that one. But I will follow a YouTube tutorial. I mean, that's something, right? Which is exactly what I did step by step. And it only caught fire like one time. All right, after all this time, hours and hours of blood, sweat, and car grease. Cars have grease, right? <laughs> it's finally time to start my summer car. Huh. I wonder if it was the fire. All right, fine. Restart the entire freaking game all over again. Make all the money, buy all the groceries again, and then rebuild the entire car from scratch, bolt by bolt, by door, by wheel, by engine, by weird looking stick thing. And finally. Okay, not really. Oh. It runs, I got an achievement. Ah! Breathe in those exhaust fumes. Well, it took about 147 hours, but I'm finally starting to get somewhere in my summer car. I think I might even be enjoying myself a little bit. Nah, just trust me, bro. It gets really good about 140 hours in. Did the game go too far? Yes. Am I having fun though? I think. I think so. You know, I think the only thing that could ruin me now is my uh, crippling gambling addiction. That could potentially be a problem. There's a guy out in the middle of nowhere that you can play the Finnish version of blackjack with. Well, naturally, I played a lot of Finnish blackjack with him and I may or may not have lost thousands and thousands of rubles flank freaking blank blackjack blank with him. <laughs> well, you don't just bet money with him. You can also bet your literal house against him. His? And hey, you know if I can gamble something in a video game, I'm gonna gamble it. So let's go, baby. What? 17? Please, 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 please. <gasps> yes! <laughs> I win, baby. <laughs> what the? What the heck? What is that? What is happening? Dude, get away from me! This game has turned into a freaking horror movie. All right, somebody needs to put this thing down. Gentlemen, start, start your, your engine. engine. <laughs> ah, this is the life. I've got money, I've got two houses, I've got a working car. I've got a case full of beer. What more can a man ask for, am I right? Yep, I don't think there's anything that could ruin my day. Uh. Uh-oh. You'll never take me alive, coppers! <laughs> <laughs> I think I lost them, suckers. Wait, hold on. What is that? Uh-oh. 